What's up? My name's Kirk, and I am super excited that you've joined me in Connect today. I have a question for you. If you had a beard, would you let it grow long or keep it short? I have a good friend, Reynolds. He doesn't really like long beards. He prefers shorter beards. Well, at Connect HQ, we're going to get a full tour and see how the crew works together to do what God's made them to do. Now, we have a point that's kind of about that. I'm going to say it. I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Together, we live out God's mission. Fantastic job. Now, it's that time. We're going to do worship. So let's go to Connect HQ and learn more about it. Hmm. Does anybody know an awesome way to connect to God? Shout it out. Let me hear it. Ooh, those are some good guesses. I like that one. But let me tell you about the one I was thinking of. How about we sing a song to God? Like when we give him our full attention and tell him how great he is. When we worship, it connects us with God because we thank him for everything he's done for us. So let's get on our feet and connect to God together. Shout! 
Dot, I'm ready on this end. Careful. Careful. Hey, Mike, what's going on? <sighs> Do you remember what happened last year about this time? Right. We lost all those connection transmissions. Yep. Like that. 90 days of work, gone. Well, Dot's determined not to let that happen again. All right, I need everybody to be quiet. Now, Harper, you can do this. <sighs> One down, 28 to go. This could be a long day. Yeah. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Alyssa, and this is the time we learned about our purpose. Welcome back to Connect HQ, Bree. Thanks so much, Captain Alyssa. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to have an official tour of Connect HQ. And you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is something wrong? Well, I was gonna have Tony give you the tour today, but he's had a bad cold for a while now. Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. He sounded awful. He could like barely talk. Well, I don't wanna keep you waiting, so. Mike, if you wouldn't mind. I would love to give Bree the tour. <sighs> great, thanks Mike. I've got some postcards I need to get to, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, have a great time, Bree. I'm sure I will. All right, where to start? Where do we start first? Mm. Oh, hi, uh, welcome to Connect HQ. How can I help you? <laughs> oh, at a loss for words. I get you, buddy. I was speechless the first time I saw Connect HQ. All right, how about you join me and Bree on our tour of the building? It'll be a blast, I promise. All right, you two, follow me. <laughs> and the next stop on our tour is the lounge. This is where you can get a bite to eat, hang out, take a breather, get another bite to eat. Hi, I'm Dot. You're Bree, right? That's right. <laughs> and you are? Well, that's right, we haven't gotten your name. What's your name? Huh? Oh, I get it. It's coffee, so your name is Joe, like a cup of Joe. Mm. I'm Mike. <laughs> Get it? I'm Dot. And I'm Bree, like this cheese. Nice to meet you, Joe. Dot, would you explain a little bit to uh, Bree and Joe about what we do here at Connect HQ? Definitely. At Connect HQ, together we live out God's mission. Together we live out God's mission. That's our purpose. We all work together to help kids and adults overcome the problems that they're facing. We want to share God's truth with the world and let everyone know how much He loves us. So, in a nutshell, that means whoever you are, we're here to help. I could not have said it better myself. What do you think of that, Joe? Whoa, is that Tony's vest? And there's a big coffee stain on it. You're right. If you poured coffee on yourself, it would still burn even if you're wearing a vest. You're right. We should try to clean out the coffee stain for Tony. Mike, would you take down the vest to the laundry? I'm on it. Keep Bree and Joe busy while I take care of this. I'll be back in a sec. You've got it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that, that's Tony's coffee. Tony's coffee. Yeah. Hey Mike, how's the tour going? I think it's going pretty well. I think Joe and Bree are really enjoying themselves. Joe? Who's Joe? Nah, he's a walk-in, doesn't talk much. I think he's a nice guy, though. <sighs> hey, you haven't seen Tony around, have you? No, I thought he was sick. I thought so too, but then I got an email saying he was gonna come in after all. Well, I'll tell you if I see him. I gotta get back to the tour. All right, thanks, Mike. <gasps> I know this one. Rodney and Vanessa are part of this group. It's the... The Skit Vision Group. That's right. What are you three up to? I was just introducing Joe and Bree to the other groups that are a part of Connect HQ. That's a great idea. Joe, pay attention. You'll learn something. Could you tell me the names of the other groups? 
The Skip Vision Group's the only one I've heard so far. Well, you would have to work here to know all of them, but I'll do my best. So, there is the Whatnots Group. There is the Beat Doctors. There is the Tekken Tools. There is the Rad Group. There is the Foodies Group and the Good News Group. Wow, you are a really good guesser. But all of these groups make disciples. Making disciples is another way of saying what our mission is. It's the Great Commission. Tell me more about this. What is the Great Commission? There's a Bible theater at our archives that does a great job of answering this question. <laughs> I know the exact video you're talking about, Dot. Bree, Dot, Joe, you want to check this out? I'm game. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. Is alive. Matthew. Hey, Winston. Want to take a trip? Sure, Vanessa. Where are we going? Anywhere you want. Uh, well, okay. How about uh, Paris, France? God, good choice. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh my oh. goodness. Bonjour, oui, oui, je n'ai qu'un papa. I can smell the croissants. Oh, I could eat croissants all day. Mm -hmm. But really, though, what should we do while we're here? Let's get some french fries. Oh, you would say that. <laughs> all right. Winston, that's a good idea, but I was actually thinking we could make some disciples. Uh, how do you do that? Look at these verses that I found in the book of Matthew. This was right after Jesus came back to life. He said, so you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> uh, but before we do, what's a disciple again? All right, that's a good question and I probably should have started there, but a disciple is a word that means student or learner. And how do we make them? Well, we make them just like Jesus made them. Jesus made disciples by spending time with people, teaching them things, and praying together. He showed them what God's love is like, and he showed them how to be free from sin. I thought Jesus was the only one who could make someone a disciple. Anyone can make disciples, literally anyone. Like me? Kids, adults, even you, anyone. Anyone can make disciples. It's up to us, you, me, you guys, everyone to go all over the world teaching the good news about God with everyone we know. From Paris, to the school, to the mall, to the jungle, to the stadium, to the moon. Wow, I can smell the moon cheese. It doesn't matter where we go, Winston. Jesus says he will always be with us. He says, you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Jesus goes with us as we tell others about him. That's a great promise. Jesus gives us the power to make disciples. Exactly. We tell the people we know, they'll tell the people they know, they'll tell the people they know, then 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 they'll tell the people they know. Where should we start? Oh, how, how about let's go to Belgium. Oh, we can get some waffles. You would say that. <gasps> oh, we could go to Turkey. Ooh. I'm gonna stop you right there because maybe we should just go to the grocery store. It sounds like you're really hungry. <gasps> hungry? Let's go there. <laughs> we could go anywhere. anywhere. It's a huge calling to go out and make disciples everywhere. But we follow Jesus, and that's what he asked us to do. 
It's amazing, really. Every day you get to share Jesus with the whole world. And one of the ways we get to share Jesus is through connection transmissions. Right. Tell me more about how those transmissions work. I think Harper is making transmission today. She's up in the observatory if you want to talk to her. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Bree, Joe, to the observatory! <laughs> Joe. Welcome to the observatory. And this is Harper. Hey Harper, I'm Bree. Wow, would you look at that view? It's incredible. It sounds like the tour is going well. It is. Oh, and this is Joe. You look like a friend of mine. <laughs> We heard you were working on a connection transmission. Do you think you could give us the details about how those transmissions work? How about I show you how transmissions work? Even better. <laughs> Every connection transmission starts with a question. We get all kinds of questions from people all around the world. Some come from postcards, some come from field offices, and some come from walk-ins. Then we find our links. Links are what we use to answer questions. The groups at Connect HQ help us find them. There are three links we look for, point links, first links, and Bible links. Then we use a drone to capture our connection transmission. Transmissions answer the questions we're asked using the links we find. I'm sure you would be able to make a great connection transmission. The next time Connect HQ is looking for a new team member, you should apply. One of the coolest things about working at Connect HQ is that we all get to use our unique talents and gifts to support each other and answer the big questions. It's not easy to do anything alone. That's why it's awesome we have this building full of people who support each other. And I've got a great verse that goes along with that idea. Do you want to say it with me? Of course. Let's do it. All right. It's from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12. Say it with me like this. Ecclesiastes 4, 12. Ecclesiastes 4, 12. Though one may be overpowered, Though one, one may be overpowered. overpowered. Two can defend themselves. Two, two can defend, defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And what that verse tells us is that we don't need to go at life alone. We all need God's help, and we all need to work together with others. By listening, supporting, and encouraging one another, friends help us stay strong and do what God has called us to do. <sighs> wow, Connect HQ really is amazing. Thank you for giving us this tour, you guys. Of course. All right, what about you, Joe? Did you have a good time? <laughs> All right, let's head downstairs and finish up this tour. Okay. For the last part of our tour, I thought about introducing you to the Connect HQ members you didn't get to meet today. Perfect, thanks, Mike. Uh, this is Kat. This is Edison, this is Jake, and this is Tony. Yeah, huh? What? What's going on? <sighs> Joe's trying to tell us something, but I'm not sure what it is. Mike, this is Tony. Yeah, this is Tony, that's correct. <sighs> okay. This is Tony. Yes. Uh-huh, right here, right here, and this is Tony, without a beard, okay? They're the same person. This is Tony. Yeah. Oh, I miss Joe. He was such a good guy. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. You could still be Joe. It's just a name change. Hi, my name is Dot and I wanted to share a verse with you. It's from the book of Ecclesiastes. Say it with me like this. Ecclesiastes 4, 12. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. It is not good to go through life by yourself. You need friends to help and support you as you do what God's called you to do. As followers of Christ, we have a huge calling to go out and make disciples everywhere in the world. But that's more than just one person can handle on their own. We need to work together to share the love of Jesus with the whole world. We all have a mission 
to help each other, work together, and make disciples. That's what we get to do every day here at Connect HQ. We love serving each other and helping people with their problems. That's our purpose. You have a purpose too. Each one of you has unique gifts and talents that God has given you. You could try to use those gifts alone, but that's no fun. It's better when we work together. All of us can support each other and show God's love to the world. Together, we live out God's mission. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I don't know, I'm still not seeing it. That's a little better. Mm. Hey, there you are, buddy. Hey, uh, where, hey, Joe, what, hey, Tony. Joe, what are you doing here? We all know our purpose here at Connect HQ. That's because we follow Jesus with our lives. We've all made that choice. And if you've never chosen to follow Jesus, you can do that today. All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, Tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. That is the most important decision that you can make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today to learn more about it. We have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Ecclesiastes 4, 12. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Great job. Did you know that kids just like you write postcards to Connect HQ to ask questions? If you wrote a postcard to Connect HQ, what would it say? Talk about that with your family. And if you wanna make some pretend postcards, you can do that too. Pause the video and talk about your postcards. Check out all these postcards. At Connect HQ, they've answered a lot of postcards, just like these. But you can find answers even at home with your family. When you talk about your questions, read your Bible, pray, and do other things to connect with God, he will be there for you. Well now, speaking of questions, we have some great ones for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me at Connect. I will see you later.